Okay, whenever you, whenever you create your GCP account for the first time, you get a 90 day $300 free trial. Now within these 90 days, you can use any of the GCP services provided that it does not cross the threshold of $300. And if it does, then you'll have to pay the excess amount. Now after your 90 days is over, you get something called as a free tire. Now this free tire is very important for you to know and it can save a lot of your money, especially if you know how to use it. So all Google Cloud customers can use select Google Cloud products like Compute Engine, Cloud Storage and BigQuery free of charge within a specific monthly usage limits. So if you know how to use this, then like I said previously, you can save a lot of money. So let's see how we can use it for, let's say a Compute Engine. So let's create a Compute Engine. So let's click go back to our console and let's click on Create Instance. Now before creating our instance, let's see what the limits are for creating a Compute Instance. So I go back to my previous page and in this page, what you need to do is you need to click on free tire usage limits. Now this particular page, I'll send in the URL below. So you can always go and refer to this. So here, for example, if you're creating a compute engine, you can create an E2 micro virtual machine within these three regions and it will be free of charge. Now the limits for this is based on the usage. So for example, your free trial E2 micro instance limit limit is by time and not by instance. So each month eligible use of all your E2 micro instance is free until you have used a number of hours equal to the total number of hours in the current month. So I always consider this total number of hours in the current month to be around 750 hours. So what you can do is you can create multiple E2 micro instances provided that the sum total of all the E2 micro instances do not cross 750 hours. And if it does, then the remaining hours you'll have to pay for it. So in a sense, it's not one micro instance that you can create. You can create multiple instances provided that the sum total of all the hours does not cross 750 hours. So let's go back to our instance and let's choose E2. And let's go and click on E2 micro. Now there is a tendency to always save costs. Go back and create your N1 F1 micro. Now if you think that your instance is going to run for more than 750 hours, and if you want to create multiple instances, then if you want to save cost, then you can always use the, use the F1 micro. Now, if you're sure that it will never cross the threshold of 750 hours, then always go, go for your E2 micro. So that's one important thing to remember. So the next cost that you should consider is the standard persistent disk. So whenever you create your instance for the first time, you will always see that what you get is the new balance persistent disk. Now this is going to cost you. So you need to change this from new balance to standard persistent. So you can click on change and just change this from balance persistent disk to standard persist persistent disk. So you can just click on this and click on select. And these are the two important changes that you need to do. And let's look at the other things that you need to worry about as well. So we'll not consider snapshot storage. So you can just leave this as it is. So now because you're creating your instance in North America, you get a 1 GB egress free to all the other remaining regions. So let's look at the price for this. Now let's go and click on our all network pricing. And what you need to check is basically the premium tire pricing for egress data. Now ingress is free. So any data that comes into your virtual machine is free of course. So you only need to pay for the egress data. That is data that goes out of your network. So if for example, you're creating an instance in Iowa that is your central one. So these are the prices that you might need to incur provided that it does not cross. So make sure to limit your data egress to just 1 GB. And if it does cross 1 GB, then you'll have to pay this, this amount of money for each region where the data goes to. So again, this particular URL I will send in the description below. So you can always go check this out. Now, one thing to remember is this is only applicable for the three regions where you can actually create a free virtual machine. So that is the US West, US Central and US East one. So that's it for this lecture. So once again, to reiterate, make sure that you create an E2 micro provided that you know that your provided that you know that your virtual machines will not run for more than 750 hours. And the next thing to notice that you should always keep your boot disk as a standard persistent disk. And that's about it. And the third thing you need to remember is that you are network egress should not cross 1 GB. And if it does, you should always remember what the pricing is. For. Okay, so that is it for this lecture. I hope you learned a bit about how to use your free tire version of your GCP account. So I'll see you in the next chapter.